Hello, everybody. How are you all? Uh, I hope you're all okay. Did you have a nice weekend? Uh, did you do anything interesting? Probably not because we're stuck inside. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you're all okay. And I hope uh, that you're continuing to study your English because it is very important. Okay. So today, we're going to continue. Okay, so we're going to start off by opening the pupils book. Okay, and we are going to go to page 81 in my book, which is unit seven, lesson five. Okay, so open your books, your pupils books to the right page, unit seven, lesson five. Okay, and it's this page with this picture. Okay, do you have the page? Very good. Uh, so let's start. Now, today we're going to be learning about injuries. What are injuries? Uh, these are things that when we hurt ourselves, okay, it's, uh, it's how we hurt ourselves, right? Different things we do to hurt ourselves, right? And some things are very common, all right? Uh, so this is the vocabulary in this box. All right. Um, now, what we'll do first is I'll just show you uh, some pictures and explain the vocabulary. OK, so let's have a look at the screen. Oh, sorry, not this one. All right, we'll go to picture dictionary. OK, and then you can look at the picture, look at the phrase. All right. Listen and repeat. OK, so this uh, first one is break my arm. All right. Break my arm It's when you break the bone. Break my arm. All right, so listen and repeat. Break my arm. Okay, very good. Let's have a look at the next one. Bruise my arm. Okay, listen and repeat. Bruise my arm. Right, so if you see this, a bruise. So, for example, if somebody hits you or if you hit your arm, okay, and then you have a, a bit where it's, all, uh, where it's all blue or black, okay, uh, this is called a bruise, right? So it's bruise my arm. Okay. I don't know the word in Spanish. Okay. Now, uh, listen and repeat. Burn my hand. Burn my hand. All right. So this is when you touch something that's very hot. Okay. And it burns your skin, right? It burns. And then afterwards you have a little thing like this, which is called a blister. Yeah. You can burn your hand if you're cooking or, uh, yeah, if you touch some, uh, some hot water or something. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. All right. Listen and repeat. Cut my finger. Cut my finger. Okay. So you have your finger, right? Sometimes maybe when we're using scissors or something, we can cut our finger and a little bit of blood comes out. Yeah. Cut my finger. Let's continue. Listen and repeat. Hurt my knee. Hurt my knee. Okay. So this is your knee, which is the middle part of your leg where it bends. Okay, your knee. Um, oh, uh, well, I won't show you. Okay, but that's in your leg. It's the bit where you're the middle part of your leg. Okay. Um, now, sometimes when you fall down, you hit this part of your leg and it hurts a lot. Yeah. Or if you or if you fall in a weird way, yeah. Sometimes you hurt your knee. Right. So hurt my knee. Common if you're playing football. Okay, another one. Listen and repeat. Scratch my leg. Okay, scratch my leg. Scratch is doing this. Okay, so sometimes if you fall over, you can scratch your leg on the floor. Yeah, if you're outside. Uh, maybe some of you have a cat, right? The cat likes to scratch. Okay, sometimes the cat, the cat scratches my arm or he scratches my leg. Okay, so scratch my leg. And the last one. Twist my ankle. Twist my ankle. Okay, so this is your ankle, right? This part of your foot. And if you twist it, right, normally it's when you're walking or when you're running and you, and you, you put your foot down and it goes a little bit like this, right? And it hurts for a, it hurts maybe for a day or two. Yeah, twist my ankle. Very common when playing sports, any sport. Yeah, football, basketball, tennis. Yeah, whenever you're running and jumping, uh, you can always twist your ankle. Okay, so those are seven different injuries, okay, that we need to remember. 
all right? All of the injuries, okay, use a verb, okay? Each phrase begins with a verb. Break, uh, bruise, burn, cut, hurt, scratch, and twist, okay? We're going to make a note of these in the notebook later, okay, with the exercise. Let's go back to the pupils book, all right? Now, we're going to do exercise one on the page. So what we have to do is we have to look at the picture, all right, and then, uh, and then figure out what injury each person has, okay? And we choose one from the top here. So all of the injuries we just looked at. And what we're going to do is we're going to write the answers in the notebook, and that way we can uh, copy the phrases at the same time, okay? So open your notebook, everybody. All right, and we're going to have the title Injuries, okay, title Injuries. Um, the date today is Monday the 27th of April. All right, so write this in your notebook. And uh, we'll do, pay, it's, well, it might be a different page for you, but for me it's page 81, exercise one. All right, and there's seven, uh, seven answers, okay, for the seven different injuries. So let's do this all together. Are you ready? So let's look at, <coughs> excuse me, let's look at picture number one over here. All right, let's have a look. Uh, can, you, can you guess which injury it is? Looks like something with the hand. Okay, I think it's burn my hand. Yeah, burn my hand. And look, she's a chef. So probably when she was cooking something. Burn my hand. So. Let's write in the notebook next to number one. All right, we'll just write burn my hand. Oh. Burn my hand. Okay, make sure you copy it down correctly. Burn my hand. All right, that's number one. Let's look at number two. Let's have a look here. Looks like something with the arm. Can you guess which one it is? All right, yep, that's bruise my arm, yeah? So she's hit her arm, or he's hit his arm. Maybe he fell off his bike. Um, and yeah, he's got a blue, uh, purple, black mark on his arm. That's a bruise. So let's write it in the notebook, okay? For number two, bruise my arm. Very good. Let's continue. Okay, number three. Let's have a look at this person here, again with the arm, except she has this, this is called a cast. Huh? She has a cast on her arm, um, which means it's broken, yeah? So the answer to number three should be break my arm. Break my arm. Let's write it in the notebook. Break, oh, break my arm. Have you ever broken your arm? I have. I'm doing sports. Okay. Let's have a look at number four. Where's number four? Oh, here's number four. Let's have a look at this boy. Looks like there's a bit of blood on his finger. Okay, can you guess which one it is? Yeah, cut my finger. Very good. Let's put it in the notebook. Number four, cut my finger. All right, very good. Uh, let's have a look at number five. Let's look at this person here. Do you remember what this is called? This is the knee, yeah? So the answer to number five should be, uh, where is it? Hurt my knee. Hurt my knee. Let's write it in the notebook. Number five. Hurt my knee. Very good. Okay. Um, let's have a look at number six. Can you see this person? Uh, this boy here was playing football. Okay, and looks like, do you remember what this is called? Yeah, that's the ankle. Yeah, so number six should be twist my ankle. Yeah, twist my ankle. Let's write it in the notebook. Okay, so twist my ankle. Very good. Mm, let's look at number seven, last one. Okay, number seven. 
All right, it's this girl here. Uh, looks like she's done something to her leg. There's a little bit of blood. So the answer number seven should be scratch my leg. So maybe she fell over. Scratch my leg. All right, let's write it in number seven. Scratch. Oh. Scratch. Leg. Oh. Okay. Okay, so this should be the answers to exercise one, okay? And you have all of the uh, injuries written in your notebook. All right, very good. So now what we're going to do, okay, continuing in the notebook, is we're going to write uh, all of these phrases, except we're going to put the verb in the past participle, right? The past participle. Uh, so if you don't remember, so we can use it with present perfect phrases, all right? So just to remind you, I'll put the beginning of the phrase, we'll say, I have, okay, which would be like a typical present perfect phrase. And then we'll just write the numbers again. So number one, okay, burn my hand. Um, so burn is a regular verb. So if it's regular to make the past participle, we just use ed, right? So we're gonna write burned my hand, okay? So it would make sense if you made the phrase, I have burned my hand, yeah? Uh, okay, good. Do number two, all right, which is bruise my arm. Bruise, again, is a regular verb, so all we need to do is uh, put an ed on the end, or just a d. All right, so I have bruised my arm. Okay. Good. Now, uh, break. Break is an irregular verb. All right. So if you don't remember the past participle, we have to go to our, I think it's in our activity book. All right. And it may be at the back here. Uh, not this, sorry. Uh, maybe it's in the pupils book. Let's have a look. All right, here we go. Irregular verb. So it should be somewhere in the back of your pupils book. For me, it's page 126. Okay, so do you remember this page? Okay, this list, All right? The irregular verbs. And we're looking for the past participle, right? So the third one down. So let's find the word break. <laughs> <laughs> they don't actually have the word break in the uh, in the book, but um, okay. So I'll just tell you what it is. It's not actually on the list. Okay, so the past participle of break is broken. Oh, like this. Broken, broken my arm. Okay, so break, broke, broken. I don't know why they didn't put that in the list, but okay. Number four. Okay. Uh, cut, that's another irregular verb. So hopefully this one is on the list. Yep, here it is, can you see? Okay, we go to our regular verb list, cut, 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 all the same. Yep, so the past participle is cut. So it doesn't change. Cut my finger, yeah? So you say, I have cut my finger. Number five, hurt, that's another irregular verb. All right, let's see if it's on the list. <laughs> uh, it's not on the list, okay. Um, so hurt, similar to cut, okay, it's just the same. It doesn't change. Hurt, hurt, hurt. All right, so just write hurt my knee. All right, it doesn't change. I have hurt my knee. All right. Uh, number six is twist. Okay, twist. Twist is a regular verb. All right, so uh, if that's a regular verb, we just need to put ed. Twisted my uh, ankle. And the last one, scratch my leg. Scratch is another regular verb. Okay, so we just put ed. Scratched my leg. Okay. So you can use these phrases with the present perfect now. Okay, so maybe if you want to tell somebody uh, that you've hurt yourself in some way, right? You say, ah, oh, I've broken my arm. 
Okay, well, I've twisted my ankle. Yeah, so maybe you're in pain. Somebody says, "Hey, what's wrong?" You say, "Ah, oh, I've 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 burned my hand. I've burned my hand." Okay. Uh, all right. So one quick second here. Okay, yeah, we're back. All right, I just realized I made a little mistake. Okay, on this last exercise. Uh, the number one, burn, is actually an irregular verb, uh, and it should be burnt. Burnt. I got it confused. Burnt, burned. Sounds similar. Burnt. Okay, with a T. Burnt. I have burnt my hand. All right, my mistake. Anyway, make sure you have it correct in your book, okay? So... Um, all right, so we can use these phrases now with present perfect. Okay, have you copied everything? Excellent. All right, let's go back to our pupils book and we'll get back to the page where we were on somewhere in unit seven, I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay, now let's have a look at the next activity. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to listen to some people talking and they're going to tell you what activity uh, they were doing when they hurt themselves, right? So these are the children in activity one, right? So in this picture. So this is going to explain what they were doing when they hurt themselves, right? Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll write the phrases in our notebook again. Okay, uh, and so what we have to do, if we go to the notebook, all right, so we'll do here, uh, page, we'll say page 81, exercise, I think it's exercise two. Yeah, okay, we am saying on exercise two. And so what we're going to do, I'll say what were the people doing when, when they hurt themselves. Okay. So, uh, the way we're going to answer this is we're going to use phrases in the past continuous. Okay. So that's using was and the verb with ing. So for example, was watching. Yeah. So, um, because we use a past continuous because uh, that was an action that was uh, in progress when the person hurt themselves, okay? Um, so, so you could say, for example, what were you doing when you twisted your ankle? And you could say, I was playing football when I twisted my ankle, yeah? Because that was, that was what was happening at the time, all right? So, um, We'll write the answers in our notebook here. Okay, so let's put, I think they were letters now, so we'll put A, B, C, D, F, G. So what we'll do for each one is uh, we'll listen and you can write the phrase, okay? He or she, depending on the one you was, and then, um, and then you write the activity, okay? So for example, do you know what? I'll put this up here. Right, so he or she was, and then plus the activity. I'll, I'll say plus the verb is ing, okay? Uh, so for example, right, I would say he was playing Okay, for example here. All right, so we're going to make phrases like this. Okay, I'll just 
just put this. All right. So he or she was, and then whatever the activity was. Right. For example, he was playing football. Okay. Let's go. So let's go to the uh, people's book here. Okay. You can have your notebook ready to write next to you as well. All right. Now we're going to listen. Okay. Uh, and you're going to try and write the phrase for each one and then we'll correct afterwards. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Let's try. One. What's happened to you? I've burnt my hand. Oh no. What were you doing? I was helping my dad with the cooking. I touched the pan by mistake. Okay. Did you get that? So, uh, that's this picture. All right. And then she said, she was, do you remember, helping her dad with the cooking. She was helping her dad with the cooking. The capital, full stop. Okay. She was helping her dad with the cooking and right? she burnt herself. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Okay. So now you try and you try and do the rest on your own. Okay. Let's go. Two. Hello. What have you done? I've bruised my arm. What were you doing? I was mountain biking and I fell off my bike. Three. So what's happened to you? I've broken my arm. What were you doing? I was playing tennis with my brother and I fell over. Four. Hello. What have you done? I've cut my finger. Oh. What were you doing? I was helping my mum with the cooking. I was cutting tomatoes. Five. Hello. What's happened to you? I've hurt my knee. OK. What were you doing? I was rock climbing with my friends. Six. Oh dear. What have you done? I've twisted my ankle. What were you doing? I was playing football with my friends. Seven. Hello. What have you done? I've scratched my leg. OK. What were you doing? I was hiking with my family in the woods. OK. Did you manage to get everything? OK. Uh, now, you didn't need to write all of the, you know, the complete phrase, just sort of the action. OK. Um, so what we'll do now, we'll listen again and we'll correct as we go through. OK. So. Um, so let's listen again. So number one was uh, she was helping her dad with the cooking. Yeah. One. What's happened to you? I've burnt my hand. Oh, no. What were you doing? I was helping my dad with the cooking. I touched the pan by mistake. Two. Oh, sorry. Cooking. Two. Hello. What have you done? I've bruised my arm. What were you doing? I was mountain biking and I fell off my bike. Okay, did you get that? He said, I was mountain biking. All right, so I'll say, read our phrase here. Uh, all right. Uh, he was mountain biking. Okay.
Let's try number three. These should be numbers, not letters. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so number one, uh, she was helping her dad with the cooking. Number two, he was mountain biking. Let's listen for number three. Three. So what's happened to you? I've broken my arm. What were you doing? I was playing tennis with my brother and I fell over. Yeah, did you get that? She was playing tennis, yeah? She was playing tennis. <laughs> Make sure you have this uh, copied correctly in the notebook. All right, let's have a look at number four. Four. Hello. What have you done? I've cut my finger. Oh. What were you doing? I was helping my mum with the cooking. I was cutting tomatoes. Again, helping with the cooking. I was helping my mum with... Oh, sorry, not I. It was a boy, wasn't it? He was helping his, uh, his mum with the cooking. Hmm, sounds like helping helping your parents with the cooking can be quite dangerous. Uh, anyway, let's try number five. All right, let's have a listen. Five. Hello, what's happened to you? I've hurt my knee. Okay, what were you doing? I was rock climbing with my friends. Did you get that? Said I was rock climbing. Yeah, so I say she was rock climbing. She was rock climbing. Okay, rock climbing. Uh, let's try the next one. Six. Oh dear, what have you done? I've twisted my ankle. What were you doing? I was playing football with my friends. Mm. Did you get that? It's an easy one. He was playing football. Okay. And the last one. Seven. Hello. What have you done? I've scratched my leg. Okay. What were you doing? I was hiking with my family in the woods. Okay, did you get that? She said, I was hiking. She was hiking. And if you don't remember hiking, this is when you go walking in the woods or in the forest or in the mountains for a long time. Um, so yeah, okay, so, uh, I could have put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down here, but uh, I didn't. It's uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Uh, so make sure you have all of the answers copied correctly. All right. Uh, using the correct phrases. Okay. Do you have everything? Have you copied it all? Excellent. Okay. Uh, now what we can do is we can go and have some practice in the activity book. So let's go to the activity book and we're going to be on, in my book, it's page 74. Okay. And again, it's unit seven, lesson five, unit seven, lesson five. Okay. Um, so you should have this thing to do here. It looks quite, quite fun. All right. So we just have to remember the phrases. Okay. For the different injuries. And we have to find the verbs in the word search and write them on the correct picture. Okay, so you have twist here and this is twist my ankle. All right, so uh, you can pause the video and you can, uh, you can do this exercise one. Okay, have you all finished? All right, let's have a look at the answers. Okay, let's see if I can do this word search. So number two, I can see it here, it should be scratch. Okay, so scratch my leg. 
Number three should be here, burn. Okay, so burn my hand. Uh, number four, uh, let's see if I can find it, should be the word hurt. Hurt my knee. Here, here it is. Hurt. So hurt my knee, number four. Number five, that should be cut my finger. So let's find the word cut. Here it is. Okay, so cut my finger. Number six, right, that was bruise, which is here. So that's number six, bruise my arm. All right, and number seven is the word break. All right, break my arm. Okay. Do you have everything correct? All right. Have you written all? Have you written all the words in the correct uh, in the correct space? Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, so let me just see. I think that we can finish with this. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. So what we'll do there is uh, yeah. We'll stop there. Okay, um, and mm, yeah, okay, and we'll do what we'll do is we'll we'll finish off these exercises because they're a little bit they're a little bit separate from what we've just studied. So uh, we'll finish off these exercises um, in the next class. Okay, um, and we can do it all together. All right, so. Uh, that's it for today. So just to make sure, uh, just to recap what we've done, uh, you should have this exercise in your activity book. Okay, so that's unit seven, lesson five. All right, and just exercise one. Okay, just exercise one. And then uh, in the pupils book, all right, so we've done these exercises here, but we've written everything. All right, we should have written everything in the notebook. Okay, so we have. Uh, so we have all of the injuries, all of the phrases uh, written normally, and then all of them written in uh, using the past participle. And then you have phrases in the uh, past continuous saying what the people were doing when they hurt themselves. I'm just going to put this in bold. Okay. All right. So if you have all of this, then we can finish. Okay. Excellent work, everybody. Good job. And... Uh, and yes, I shall see you all on uh, on Wednesday or on Thursday. Okay, hopefully we have a, uh, a good connection. Uh, anyway, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.